Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shujaat Javed and these are the most easy to understand differences between the QLED TVs and OLED TVs. Let's get started. Let's talk about the main differences. QLEDs are basically the same as traditional LCDs, just renamed over by Samsung. This is just a business tactics to sell their products. It does have new quantum filter on top to make the colors brighter and stuff like that, but basically it's the same as LCDs. OLEDs, however, is completely a different technology made by LG, which is bought by different companies now as well, and they do add their own technology on top of it to make it work. The basic difference is the fact that each pixel in the TV is charged and light up individually. It can turn on and turn off whenever it needs to. Based off of these fundamental differences, if you were to ask which one is better, the answer would vary depending on your situation, what kind of room you're going to be putting this TV in, stuff like that. I will be explaining further in this video. Now, if you're one of those people that just buy the TV for the usage of it and doesn't really care about what kind of effects and differences these two technologies would have, then the rest of the video would not make sense for you. But if you're one of those people that really care about the details of how those TVs are going to be used in terms of where exactly in the house and what kind of room is it going to be placed in and what kind of stuff is it going to be used for sports, games and stuff like that, then this is how these two TVs differentiate between each other. OLEDs just kill it in darker rooms. So if you have a cinema theater room or something like that in your house where everything is blocked out completely, then OLEDs is the way to go. The reason for that is that whenever the scenes have blacks in it, those pixels would actually turn off to make it black. So on the other hand, QLEDs would not work in this kind of situation because their blacks are actually not black. They're just similar to grayish color. But to a naked eye or situation like that, it might not make any difference. Honestly, since those kind of darker rooms are not available in every household, so most people would actually need QLEDs because QLEDs actually work much better in brighter rooms. So if you have a window or bright lights in the room, QLEDs are totally seeable without any problems. Let's talk about the viewing angle. OLEDs are much better in terms of seeing them from different angles just because of the fact that their color variation does not change based off of the angle that you're looking from. But on the other side, QLEDs, since they just let the light through them, they do change the colors based off the angle that you're looking from. So if you're in a room full of family members watching the TV from different angles, the colors would be different for each one of them. Let's talk about calibration. Calibration is a technology where you can change the colors of your TV based off of the room that it's in. It generally just brings down the color tones to their natural state to be able to see from a naked eye, just so the picture itself can look more natural. It also adds more life to your TV as well because now the pixels are not as bright as they were when you got the TV. And despite the fact that you can calibrate both of these TVs very easily, OLEDs do make it much easier. Now let's talk about the image burn for both of these technologies if you're using it for too long. So if you watch certain channels with their logo at one side of the TV for a very long time every single day, then these pixels would have a burn image on the screen and OLEDs tend to do it a lot more than QLEDs. But again, these are extreme examples. If you're just using it for every day, just like a normal TV being used, then you would not be having any kind of issues like that. And generally, QLEDs do come with much better warranties than OLED TVs. And just to repeat myself, OLED TVs have much newer technology where each pixel is turned on and off based off of the information that's given to it. Their darks are completely dark because the pixel is completely turned off. They're very easy to calibrate. They're not good with too much of a bright room or picture. If used for too long, they will have burnouts on the screen and they do have edges much thinner and completely flushed. On the other side, QLEDs are same as LCDs. They are much brighter in color and they work really well in brighter rooms as well. They change picture color based off of the angle that you're looking from. And the calibration of these TVs is a bit tedious than OLED TVs. And that's it. Since all of these amazing companies are always looking for ways to advance their technologies, make sure that you do your own research on a specific model that you're about to purchase before making the final purchase. All right then, hopefully this helps. TJHD signing off and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.